One of the most important skills you're going to need to know is how to take the derivative in calculus. Now in these series of videos what we're doing is just looking at key examples of how you're expected to do that by applying the power rule. Right. Now in this video what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to take the derivative if your function is defined as y is equals to x plus 1 right, times x squared plus 2. Really what we're trying to do in this example is just looking at how to take the derivative if you're given the product right, of uh, two terms. Right? So your function is defined as the product of two functions. Okay? And we have to do this using the power rule. Okay? So let's see how that works. So just to restate the power rule, Right, the power rule is a differentiation technique that we use, right, which helps us to do term by term differentiation. Okay? So in other words, the power rule just simply says that if your function okay, is given by a series of terms, right, where all your terms are in the form a times x to the exponent n, right, then the derivative of that term is equal to a times n times x to the exponent n minus 1. Right? So now, if we want to apply the power rule okay, to a function which is defined by a product of two functions, right, it means that we're going to have to expand this out right, so that we can get all our terms in the form a times x to the exponent a. Right. So let's see how that's going to work. So we are given y is equals to x plus 1 times x squared plus, two, plus 3. Sorry? Okay. So now we can just distribute this out, right? So notice that the notation is still y because we are still just simplifying our function. Okay. So you're going to have x times x squared, which is going to be x cubed, right? Then you're going to have plus 3x, right? And then plus x squared, and lastly plus 3. Okay. You can rearrange this, right, and write it in the standard form of your um, polynomial. So, in other words, we're decreasing um, exponents, right? So, you can rewrite it as y is equal to x cubed plus x squared plus 3x plus 3, right? But this step is really not necessary if you are just looking at finding the derivative, okay? Now from here, right, we can see that now we've expanded out our function, right, and now we can actually see that we have terms, right, a series of terms which are in this required form in order for us to apply the power rule, okay? So, this time what we have is four different terms, right? So we have x cubed as our first term. Then we have x squared as our second term. Then we have a 3x. And lastly, we have a constant term of 3, right? Now, we saw in the first example, right, that the derivative of a constant term, right, is equal to zero. Okay. And we're just going to simply apply that in this video. So now we are ready to actually evaluate the derivative of this function. Okay. And because we are ready to do that, we need to write down the notation which states to our marker that what we are writing now is the derivative function. Okay. Our function is defined as y, right, so that notation is going to be dy by dx. Right, so now that we've written down dy by dx, right, we actually now need to write down the derivative function. So in other words, we now need to go through the process of differentiating. Okay, so now if we differentiate our first term in blue, okay, what we're going to get is 3 times the coefficient of 1, which is still 3, times x, right, to an exponent of 3 minus 1, which is going to be 2. Okay, then we still have our plus sign, 
Okay. Now we're going to differentiate our second term in red. Right? So when we do that, we're going to have a coefficient of 1 times 2, which is still 2, times x to the exponent of 2 minus 1, which is going to be an exponent of 1. Okay. We then go again and do the same step for our green term. And that's going to give us, well, over here we have a exponent of 1, right? So 3 times exponent of 1 is still 3. And then we're going to have x, right, to an exponent of 1 minus 1, which is going to be a new exponent of 0. Okay? Now for the last term, okay, or last term here in the sky blue, that is a constant term, and we saw in the first video that the derivative of the constant term is equal to 0. Okay, so now simplifying, we have that the derivative function dy by dx, that's going to be given by the expression 3x squared plus 2x plus 3, because we know that x to the exponent of 0 is equal to 1. So over here what you have is just 3 times 1, which is 3. And that's it.